Hey everybody, it's Tech Freak back here with another video. And in this video, guys, I thought I'd be making a top 10 city tweaks for iOS 8. And these are the top 10 essential city tweaks that you should download once you jailbreak your device. So Alright guys, so the first city tweak that is... I think it's the most essential city tweak that anybody downloads once they jailbreak. It's called Barrel. Barrel is a city tweak that allows you to add cool animations while swiping between pages. You can adjust these from settings after downloading Barrel. So you can, I have an icon roll right now. So you can do a wave. Let's try that out. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. And you can do, of course, the uh, snake. But I'm sure what everybody uses is the curl and roll away. That's the most uh, famous, most common one in barrel and I think it's the one that comes in default I don't really uh, know that for sure but uh, it's a pretty cool one so yeah guys this is barrel so you are probably wondering how I have five columns on my home screen so this is because of the great tweak spring to my 3 and you are probably also wondering uh, where are the names of the applications where Spring to Mice 3. Spring to Mice 3 allows you to customize everything in your device. You can customize the uncustomizable, change anything you want, and here I've got Spring to Mice 3 right here. So basically, you can enable it. There's a kill switch up here. You can change a lot of stuff. The animation speed. So let's see if you turn that on. I want you to see the default one right here. See? This is how it goes, and let's see. See if I set it to um, maybe a 30 or a 40. I want you to look at this, alright? Take a look. It's way faster. Way faster. Anyways, so you've got a lot of other settings. You can change stuff in the app slider, you can change the uh, card. Uh, size like this one you can make it a full size one and you can hide the icons like if I enable that There are no icons anymore. Of course you can have a home action if you slide up the home Card right here. This will be spring if you set that on Yeah, so that's uh, the app slider you can change stuff in the lock screen like add custom text Like I have right here the dark knight. Yeah, I'm a fan Anyways, uh, so, uh, you know, you can add this text, you can uh, also uh, change stuff in the notification center, and of course in the pages view, you can change icons, uh, hide labels, the names, you can add custom columns and rows, just like what I have right here, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is Spring to Mice 3, and I I'm not going to spoil everything for you, I just want you to... Uh, you know, figure it out yourself, download it, and have fun. You can customize stuff in the dock, control center, folders, icons, lock screen, notification center, pages, status bar. Basically everything you can customize with Spring to Mice 3. It's the best city tweak out there, in my opinion, after one, which I'm going to mention, of course, in this video. Alright, so you're also probably wondering, how did I get that Apple Watch text uh, instead of my uh, normal carrier text that should be up here? Well, that's due to Ziplin. Ziplin is very, very great uh, city tweak that allows you to change the icons right here in the carrier uh, bar, uh, the, sorry, in the carrier name. We could change the total name, so if you go to and tap on carrier text, right here at the top right corner you can change that to whatever you want so I've got it to the Apple watch here you can save that and of course you can change that to an icon so I got the Dark Knight right here you have a lot of icons you can download ones from Cydia yourself uh, as you can see this one has an Apple logo right here like a Mac Finder Apple logo yeah you get the point you could choose a lot of other uh, cool looking stuff but I prefer the text right now whenever I will get bored with it I'll go back to the normal uh, theming I like adding uh, icons so yeah this is Zipplin and uh, it's a pretty cool city tweak I did mention that there is a tweak better than Spring to Mice 3 and for me in my opinion Virtual Home 8 is 
the best city tweak. This tweak allows you to change the use of your Touch ID button if you own an iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus. I'm not sure if it works with the iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3. Really, I'm not sure, but I don't know. You, you can see that for yourself. Virtual Home 8 allows you to change the Touch ID sensor to your home button. I no longer press my home button. It's really great tweak. It's so helpful for people who own a Touch ID device. So uh, let's say I want to exit out of an app. Usually I press the home button, but now I'm just going to tap the Touch ID button. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Touch ID. Tap it. Just tap, and now I exit it out. Let's see. I want to go to the multitasking switcher. Double tap. Let's say I want to get to the reachability view. And there you go, I hold. Uh, and there is other features, but I've got them disabled. So basically, by going to the uh, uh, preferences of Virtual Home 8 in the settings right here, I could go right here, and you can set the task set what does what. So for the tap and short hold, you can set that to sleep. So tap and hold. So now the device went to sleep. And also, there is a really cool feature, but that feature would consume a lot of battery. Uh, so this feature is called quick unlock so basically what you're going to do and what this feature is going to do it allows you to unlock your device just by placing your finger above the t uh, on the touch ID uh, sensor without pressing so I didn't press I just placed it and that will consume a lot of battery trust me I did test that out of course it has a really nice feature that allows you to uh, enable vibrate on touch so it gives you, you no know, haptic feedback and I did disable that as well so uh, yeah you could disable or enable whatever you want so yeah guys this is virtual home A and this is uh, in my opinion the best city tweak ever earlier on the video uh, when I was uh, uh, attempting to uh, Go to the settings of Spring to Mice 3, you did notice that there this weird page that popped up uh, asked me to enter my fingerprint. So yeah, this is called Bioprotect, and this allows you to secure your apps, individual apps, with uh, the your fingerprint. And this is a really, really convenient one, so you can set specific apps to be protected by this feature, and specific settings and preferences. So let's say if I go and try to reach the hotspot, uh, let's just enable 3G right here, and if I try to enable the hotspot, it will ask me to enter my fingerprint. And I did choose to lock that with my fingerprint because I don't want anyone going in and enabling the Wi-Fi hotspot. And you can also allow it from uh, preventing uh, the device from locking down. So basically if I hold the bar button right here, and slide to power off, it will ask me to enter my uh, fingerprints. So if I click cancel, it's back to normal. So yeah, this is a really convenient city tweak, and for me this is the second best city tweak after Virtual Home 8. Maybe after Spring to Mice 3 as well, so that makes it the third. So if I go right here to the settings of Bioprotect right here, you can see it also protects the settings of Bioprotect. So I can unlock that with my fingerprint. As you can see at the top, there is a kill switch. And uh, you can set the settings right here. We did a video on uh, that tweak. So I'll be putting a link for the uh, this video right here. It's a full review for this tweak. So obviously I'm not going to mention. You could just go and watch that video. And it has a very detailed review of this tweak. So yeah, guys, this is Bioprotect. And it's a very nice security city tweak. I have some friends who refuse to buy iOS devices because it doesn't contain Bluetooth sending and sharing with other devices. And this is a really annoying thing. Apple doesn't allow us to use Bluetooth, which is, by the way, built in inside the phone, but it's not used for uh, the uh, sharing feature. Uh, doesn't allow us to share photos, videos, uh, music with other devices like Android and Windows. Well, Jailbreak will absolutely do that job and with the tweak called AirBlue Sharing you can send and receive using your Bluetooth really easily. So AirBlue Sharing is one of the most helpful city tweaks out there. Blue Sharing it has a standalone app and by going to that app you can send specific files inside the phone itself. So if you uh, know some files inside the phone like uh, app data, 
uh, say maybe uh, if the uh, data of your uh, subway servers game you want to send it to other one he you know takes the thousand and has the same score now or the same coins whatever you can if you know about these stuff you can uh, play with them of course but uh, the most important uh, part about the standalone application that you can tap on enable receiving and this will allow you to enable receiving files enable receiving photos videos music and any file anybody can send you from any other jailbroken iPhone or an Android phone or a Windows phone so this is really really convenient and I really love this and you can also send and uh, send some other stuff like uh, photos let's say if I go here let's say I want to send this I'm gonna send this photo right here and as you can see right here there is a toggle that says air blue sharing and if I tapped on that I can now choose devices that are enabled with Bluetooth. Bluetooth enabled device will appear here and you can choose one and now boom, it's sent. This is AirBlue sharing guys and it's a very very nice CD tweak and I really recommend downloading this tweak once you jailbreak. Alright guys, so the next tweak that you should download once you jailbreak is called Multi Icon Mover and Multi Icon Mover Plus. This allows you to move icons, multiple icons at once, hence the name. So. Let's say I want to move these five apps to another page, but it's very annoying that I have to drag every and each one of them and go and uh, copy them to the other page. But with multi-icon user, you can just tap on them, and uh, sorry for that, you can tap on them, and as you can see, numbers will appear here. You can set that inside settings. And now uh, you can also choose folders. Let's say I want to copy that folder. And I can go to any other page, and here by tapping the home button, as you can see, they're all moved. So yeah, guys, this is Multi Icon Mover and Multi Icon Mover Plus. So it's a very very important city tweak that you should download right now. This may be a small tweak, but it's very helpful, especially when you have annoying people around you. Sorry, low battery is a very 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 helpful and useful city tweak that I use a lot. Let's say somebody comes at you and you've got the new fancy iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6s and somebody tells you, oh man, this is the iPhone 6, can I see it? Yeah, we've all been through this, so you can actually ignore the person politely and tell him no in a very nice way with this jailbreak tweak. So if you set an activation action, uh, for me, I have it in the control center right here. And can you see this icon right here, this one? And if I tap it, look at my battery. It switches to 2%. Did you see that? This is magic. This is magic. So when he comes at me and tells me that, I'll tell him, oh, man, sorry. It's 2%. I really need it. Sorry, I cannot show it to you. Oh, oh, okay. And it's very polite, and he just tricked him. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Now to the final tweak. Front flash allows you to have front flash, a front facing camera flash. Did you imagine that? Let's take a look. Let's say I want to take a photo right here from a front facing camera. And if I take it, did you see that? It now blurs the screen with the highest brightness available. And it really does work and it really acts like a real flash. As you can see here at the top, you'll have a toggle for your flash, just like any normal camera mod, and you can re it really helps. It really helps. Front flash. This is one of a hell of a tweak. Download it. All right, guys. So that's it. This. These are the top 10 essential city tweaks for iOS 8. So yeah guys, if this did help, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Links will be in the video. Links for how to get all of these tweaks for free will be in the, in the description. And also links for other top 10 city tweaks video if you would like to see that. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more jailbreak videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.